Hello everyone, welcome to the north of England and welcome to Sheffield. We are at Moss Valley and we're here to have a look at the vintage tractors that uh, our dealer flagged to us on a call in the other episode. So we thought we'd jump in the uh, Range Rover, we thought we'd run up the country and check out what was what up here. So I'm meeting a, ca a chap called Derek, who's a fellow contractor actually, who works these parts. Um, and this is his kind of hobby, his sideline, um, is collecting these old tractors. So uh, we thought we'd come and find him, have a chat with him, see what he's up for getting rid of. I do know he's wanted to thin down his collection a little bit, so if there's anything here that we like, we might just be in with a chance of uh, getting one. So, so let's see what he's got. Now, I believe if the directions are correct, it is just down here. Here we are. This looks like the right place. He said there was a white truck abandoned. So, let's see what's what here. Let's just park up here. Hello? You must be FSG. Hello, Derek. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I believe you are here about the old tractors. Yeah, that's right. Just started a bit of a collection myself and thought I'd come and see what you had. Um, give me a few ideas. Or even better than that, if you're looking to get rid of some, I might be interested in taking some off your hands. Well... That would be a big help. I used to do a lot of contracting up here, but barely do anything anymore. Everything moved further south, so I'm looking to get rid of the whole collection, and this yard as well. I've no use for it anymore. Oh, interesting. Um, well, let's have a look at what you've got, and we'll take things from there, shall we? No worries, I'll let you have a look around. I've got a couple of jobs on today, so I'll let you have a look at your leisure, and we can have a chat when you are done. All right, yeah, no, if you're happy for me to do that. Right, here we are. Let's open up and see. Oh my goodness. Derek, you weren't kidding when you said you had a collection. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it, FSG? Nice? This is stunning. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to head off. You have a look around and lock up when you are done, and give me a shout. I certainly will. Oh my goodness. Well, I was not expecting this. Let's have a look at each of one of these. Well, there's an old lander over there. That looks very nice indeed. Look at the look how clean it is. Look how well restored it is. That's an absolute beauty. Very nice indeed. I don't know if that's for sale, but uh, if that's part of the collection, already I'm interested. And then, what have we got over here? So, okay. Old Fiat. I love them. I remember them as I was growing up. Lovely tractors make a wonderful noise, they do. Beautiful. Probably same era as some of these Fords, actually. There's Fiat 120C as well. That doesn't look particularly British. I wonder if he's got these from uh, somewhere else. The international. Now, I knew about this international. This is from a guy called Dwight, I think, who lives out in Missouri. So he came over, worked here in the 70s, um, and uh, I think Derek went over there and met him saw this tractor while he was over there and brought it back with him. So, interesting backstory to that one. Uh, I think, actually, Dwight is the guy that uh, where Stu's working at the moment um, over in the US, so that's interesting. 5610, that's a lovely, lovely model, isn't it? Look at that. We've got the guard on the front, four-wheel drive. Beautiful. And a Ford 4000. That was our scraper tractor on our farm as I was growing up. Almost exactly the same setup. We didn't have weights on the front, but other than that, looks identical. And then there's a couple of biggies at the back here. An 8530. That's lovely. An 8100 as well. In the old cab style. 
do love those old cabs actually. These are all immaculate though. These are all restored. These are all immaculate. There is no work required to these. The only issue with that is it's probably going to want a lot of money for them. Um, look at them. They are breathtaking. And what's that in the corner? An old 7610, a two-wheel drive one. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Man, what's this? One, two, three. So five Fords. That old International. And then the two Fiat's. And then the Land Rover. What a collection. This is stunning. And he's wanting to get rid of it. So he's not doing work around here. This is a lovely yard. Look at the storage he's got here. Must have had quite a big operation going up here. Right, I'm going to lock this up again. And uh, we'll try and uh, see if we can go and find him. Have a chat. But this is a lovely yard, isn't it? Goodness me. Some good storage in there. That is the other side of the shed that we were just in. You can just see tractors through the crack there in the door. But then they've got all this space as well. Two bays here. Another big shed here. Another big shed here. So he must have had a big operation running here. And then this field behind. I wonder if this is part of it or this is... Oh, I don't know. Interesting. I'm going to ask him a bit more about this. Hello, FSG. What do you think? Derek, what a collection. That's absolutely breathtaking. Well, I'm very proud of it. So you should be. So you should be. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. Let's just say that for now. We'll keep the conversation going. Um, very, very interested. Um, but... What? What's the story with the yard? Can you give me a bit of a background to this? Ooh, where do I start? Back in the 1920s, there was a farmer by the name of Jeff. His family had owned the land for five generations. Wow, that was a long, convoluted story, but very interesting. So this was Derek's main contracting operation, to the point at which these houses here... Well, where his men stayed. That's how busy he was. He had uh, two men that stayed with him, and then he had his own place here. Um, and he would work between here and his other location. Now, for whatever reason, the work here's dried up. He said there was another contractor here who was doing everything, took everything off him, but has since then disappeared, leaving a lot of farmers in the lurch. Um, but he's too busy now with his contracted business elsewhere to pick this extra work up so he says there's a ton of work going here and he doesn't know what to do about it he's doing a job today um but he says he just can't fit it into his schedule so very very interesting um so this is all for sale because he'd already given up on this part of the world because uh, he'd lost all the work but it's all for sale and it's not particularly expensive either so um as a little there's a few cogs turning in my brain at the moment. A little idea brewing. Um, but I need a little bit of a think about it. Hello, Derek. Everything all right? Actually, FSG, while you were here, I was supposed to have someone help me with this contracting job. They've just called and cried off. Are you heading back down the road now, or could you spare some time to help me? Oh, I don't see why I couldn't give you a hand for a few hours. Yeah, that's fine. Champion FSG, thanks. No worries at all. Okay. Looks like <laughs> we're here for work business now. He seems like a great chap, though. Seems like uh, if I can give him a hand, that might uh, maybe ease the uh, discussions a little bit with the tractors. These are lovely houses though, aren't they? Look, look at the lovely brick houses. Lovely old stone work. Very nice part of this area of the world. Right, I'm going to head up to the other farm and see where he needs some help. And uh, we will see you when we get there. Right, here we are. This is the field that Derek mentioned. 
And that looks like the Combine. Let's just see what he's got to say for himself. Hi, right, Derek. Ah, brilliant. Thanks, FSG. Fancy running a trailer for me while I run the Combine? Yeah, I'd be happy to. The tractor's down at the other yard with the trailer. Just grab that. Okay, no worries. I'll do that. Uh, that's a lovely combine. Yeah, demonstrator. New model that's coming out soon. Oh, wow. Beautiful. You can have a sit in it later. Okay, looking forward to it. Okay, right, I'll go and get this tractor and I'll let you get started. Magic. Thanks, FSG. Right, let's get ourselves over to the yard and get this tractor. That was a lovely combine, wasn't it? Very interesting paint job. They kind of do it like that to hide some of the details from prying eyes. I've seen that done before a few times. Anyway, we apparently have got a nice 7R John Deere down here to play with, which is good. So we'll go and pick that up. And we'll run trailer for a few hours. Just to help Derek out. Now, I believe the turning is just here. Hazelhurst Farm, this is it. He said it's in the shed, so if I pop this just here. Yeah, I just saw a glimpse of it there. If I pop this here, it should be fine. And uh, get some work done. Let's have a look at this. Oh, very nice. Custom paint job as well. It's got pressure sensors on the tyres. They look deflated at the moment. Look, they look a bit flat. Nice Richard Weston. Same as mine, actually. SF14, but the uh, grain trailer version. Boy, he's got taste. I tell you what, he's got some nice equipment, hasn't he? He's got it going on here, although these tyres do look flat. But I think it's got one of those clever, adjustable pressure sensors in it. So you can deflate the tyres for extra grip when it's muddy in fields and uh, inflate them when it's hard packed. Well, let's find out. Right, there we go. This is a very nice tractor indeed. Look at that custom leather steering wheel as well. Beautiful. Right, let's get it fired up. Okay. But the uh, HUD has got uh, the map on it as well, so we can see where we are and we can see where the combine is. Very handy. Okay. Um, and let's let's inflate these tyres again. You know, I believe if I'm doing this right, I select my tyre pressure. So my target 1.8 bar there. That's currently on 0.8 bar, so I shall inflate. Can you hear that? Hear yeah, that slight hiss? Looks like the uh, pressure's going up. It means you can uh, run the roads nicely without wearing the tyres down. Nice touch. Right, there we go. 1.8 bar now. Let's get out of here. Right, let's change this screen as well to the trailer screen. So that we can see how much quantity we've got fill level wise in the trailer. That looks good. Right, let's head out of here. We will see you back at the field. Just want to show you this as we go around the corner. Look, got a little map changing on our screen there. Do you see that? That rotating, and it'll do it as we, every time we change direction on the road, map adjusts its position as well. Very, very nice. Nice little touch that. Right. Here we go, back at the field, just past the uh, the greenhouses here at Moss Valley, and uh, there is the combine doing its thing. Guessing he's on his second headler now, so we could probably go pick him up. We'll have something to unload already. Right, here we are, we'll let him go around the corner here, and then we'll run alongside him. Right, we'll just stop on the corner here, like so, let him go around. I think we've got most of it in, but we can check, can't we? 
8,156 litres. You see that on the screen there? Just here. 48%. Yep, looking good. So, looks like we're on duty now. We'll see you in a bit. Right, that's us back in cab, and look at that, 100%. We are done. So, we are going to run round, we're going to get this sold, and then we'll be back in time to finish off the field. That combine is lovely, though, as is this tractor. Talked about it already, but he has got some lovely equipment. Kind of making me slightly jealous. Right, let's get this sold, and then we'll be back. I'll just check the contract here. We're going to Ridgeway Goods, so I better find out where that is. Well, what do you know? It's right at the other end of the map, so we've got a bit of a trek on our hands. Uh, we better get on with it. There we are, up there, Field 16 and Ridgeway Goods, all the way down there, past the old uh, the old tractors. So, I guess we'll see you down there. Tell you what, though, it feels like home, this. Narrow lanes, lots of uh, high hedges. I could get used to being here. Here we are. Onto this road. You might recognise this from when we arrived here with a Range Rover before. Past the sheds on our left here. Oh, I do like it round here. Feels very homely. Feels very homely indeed. Right, here we go. Round this little... Uh, tight road. Now, I think I can drive in the other side and drive out this side. That looks a little bit easier. It is tight. Crikey. But we're used to that, so no problems here. There we go. Right, let's get this tipped and back to the field. We don't want him waiting too long. There we go. Done already. Fast tip on this trailer. There we go. 79% complete now as well. So we are nearly there. Right, here we are. Back to the field. And he hasn't got full yet. I don't think this is the highest yielding crop we've seen. So uh, that might have rescued me there. Well, that's us. We'll wait until he's full. And we'll do it all again.
right there we go we are done here now let's hope it all fits in the trailer shall we because it's a long way to go if there's like five percent left by the time we filled up so let's just check shall we there we go let's just watch as we fill up on the hud here 79 80 percent what do we think I think we're going to fill up here and have a little bit left. Oh, we are not 91%. It's absolutely perfect. It could not have been better. Let's have a quick chat with Derek. Thanks, FSG. I really appreciate it. No worries, Derek. No worries at all. Um, I'll run this down uh, to the cell point. Yeah, I've got another field, actually. Halfway between here and the cell point. Why not run that down, then? You can drive that combine in the second field. Really? I can have a go in it? That's awesome. Yeah, of course. Alright, I'll do that. Um, I'll run this down, I'll sell it, and I'll meet you at the other field? Yeah, let's do that, FSG, and I can run the trailer. Sounds good to me. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll see you there. Right, well, there you go. This is turning into a proper fun day. I was not expecting this when I arrived here this morning. Okay. Let's get this sold. Let's head to the other field and we'll meet Derek there. Right, here we are back again. This should finish the contract off good and proper and Derek can get paid. I'm happy to help, to be honest. There we go. Over. And sold. Very easy. So yes, we would have turned there last time but this time we are going up through here there's lovely undulations up here it feels like you're really up in the hills in the yorkshire dales and there's the combine up ahead i can see it so that must be the field we're hedging our bets on there it is yep everything's sitting waiting good stuff We'll just park this here, shall we? We can unload on the way past. Here we go. Right. Give this combine a whirl, shall we? Right. Just checking a few things here. Seeing oats there. Must be from the last field. I wonder. We fire this up. Cut in. It will change, and it has done. Look now on uh, 43 litres and we're into some wheat all right nothing else to do but to push on with it i think again let me point out this uh this hud the map you can see it rotating there as we go around the corner here very cool feature on this combine look at that you can see the field we're into like that a lot. Although that's a bit of a distraction, so we'll move it out of the way a little bit. Right, there we go. We can see both ends of the header now. Right, let's get this done. Well, we are nearly finished here. Um, it's not going to take us much longer to do this, but we've got a big drive back to Court Farms, which will take us a few hours. So I think at this point we will say goodbye, but we have got a lot of things to think about. And I'll just put it out there. 
do we expand our operation up to the north of England and set up a contractor up here as well? I am very tempted. Look at the amount of work that there is here and looking at those buildings that are available at a not stupid price. I'm very tempted. So I'm going to leave it with you to let me know what you think in the comments. But until the next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.